office is very much engaged on public-private partnerships. This is a top priority of Secretary Clinton's. Uh, it is a recognition that none of us, whatever sector we're in, government, private sector, civil society, none of us has a monopoly on competencies or on resources or on all of the other ways in which each of us uh, has an expertise. But bringing that together to bear in a collaborative way uh, can make all the difference in the world. We have many, many strategic uh, partnerships with the private sector. Uh, the great majority of them are in the area of women's economic entrepreneurship. Uh, we know that the great missing middle of economic growth today is in SMEs, small and medium-sized enterprises. It is very much in the interest of any country that wants to grow its economy, create jobs, or any business that wants to have a viable market uh, to invest in women's entrepreneurship. And women confront significant hurdles. Uh, they confront barriers that have to do with training, networks, mentoring, uh, the kinds of capacity building elements that are essential to their being successful business people. Uh, they especially have a huge uh, deficit when it comes to access to markets, as well as access to capital. So we've been working with the private sector in very significant ways uh, to address those significant hurdles. Uh, for example, in access to markets, we know that many major companies want to do business locally in the emerging market where they have a business. But they're not quite sure with whom to do business, whether or not it's certified to deliver a good product, uh, a service in a timely way. Uh, but they have a supply chain that can make an enormous difference in creating a bigger market for the SME, the women-run SME. So we've been working to put all of those pieces together uh, and have large numbers of those kinds of very significant collaborations around the world. Some are Africa-focused, some are focused in South America. We're engaged with the private sector in many of our international platforms, like APEC, the Asia-Pacific uh, Economic Cooperation Forum. Uh, so the private sector is essential. I've seen an increase to be sure, but there's also a huge increase in the mountain of data and evidence today that says to the private sector, this is a place where you need to become involved. This is about the bottom line. It is also about addressing a social good that contributes to the future prosperity of a business. So it is a win-win, uh, but we have more and more data today that explains demonstrates, concretizes, shows why this is in the private sector's interest.